the sheriff, the the the, the 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 deputies from the first from first blood the first movie they come they visit his ranch and they and they and they and they tell him that Teasel wants to see you and then Teasel tells them that they we may have like like a, like an Al Qaeda like or ISIS uh, some some group that might be uh, terrorist groups like ISIS trying to create some havoc and then kind of like Red Dawn or Invasion USA something like that and and Teasel gets killed. And and uh, of course, uh, like I said, I said this before, uh, uh, on Teasel's deathbed, Rambo uh, go, is on Teasel's deathbed, and he apologizes what for what hap- for what happened in the first movie, and then he pat- Teasel passes him the the, his, the sheriff's badge, and, Ram- and and when Rambo picks it up, Teasel that's when Teasel dies, and Rambo has to team up with the deputies to take to take on this uh, this invasion. Hmm. I actually mentioned that on. An episode from last year, but I was, uh, since the last episode is 666, um, I replayed that episode. Actually, it's the third time I've replayed this episode, but in that episode, I'm talking to Mike Chapman, and I brought up that concept that you had. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I brought it up, so if you go... If you go back and watch the last episode, 666, Rambo versus the Illuminati, it starts off uh-huh. with a David Morrell passage, and then uh, after that there's a, a brief bridge by me, and then it goes into <clears throat> the conversation with Mike Chapman, and that's actually in there. Oh, uh, yeah, 666, the signs of the beast. <laughs> yeah. Beast, uh, beast of America, yeah. You know that song, uh, Beast of America? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's, uh, I think that there is in that video thing called Bioshock. They actually mm. played it while on one of the TV spots to Jack Reacher because Jack Reacher, the, the, despite the Tom Cruise uh, image, you in the books he's he's a beast of America. He's like Rambo. He's a beast of America. He's a he's a beast mm-hmm. of, uh, who fought who uh, who you don't want to fuck with. Who, who a beast created by the American military. Well. Actually, in, in that last episode, the thing I didn't go into in that conversation that me and Chapman had, but there's this whole other side to that fan fiction that I wrote for Rambo 5 that actually had uh, acknowledgement to the number of the beast and to Rambo and a kind of a, a sub-religious plot to it, uh-huh. like an antichrist plot to it. So, yeah. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. But I'm I'm gonna probably disclose that whole. I'll probably read that whole script out um, when we get to Rambo Five, because I got a lot of scripts to do, man. I got First Blood Vendetta. I got mm. yeah, with Rambo coming uh, facing off on a military reservation. Not military, uh, Indian reservation. Um, I got Rambo versus Rocky, which is a comedy that takes place after the events of Rocky Six and, and Rambo Four. Um, what else do we have? Well, Hunter, obviously, we're gonna do Hunter page by page all the way through. Um, there's a couple other ones. There's the. Uh, Last Blood video game, even though I've covered it already. We're going to look at that again. I'm probably going to look at all the Rambo video games. Like, all of them. Like, every single one of them for that. I, yeah, I've seen, I've always seen uh, so, uh, enough of them. I saw, I, I saw, I think I've seen every other Rambo video game, especially the previous one. But I do feel that that Rambo deserves a better video game. So I, I I would like to touch on that sometime in the future because after this last one that came out, it was okay, but it didn't actually. But it it, it wasn't it wasn't well highly pump pump, uh, pump uh, shown in the public. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, you know that Mad Max video game they showed they had a TV spot for Rambo didn't get any of that. Yeah, and you can only find this game on it's down on downloads. Yeah, I. For me, like, the Sega Genesis Rambo 3 will always be, like, the best, the best one. A lot of people, a lot of people say that. Yeah. They, every time they bring up 
the best Rainbow game. They always play. They always think of the one for Sega Genesis, and I agree because I, I I think that that it, that totally holds the spirit of what Rambo is about. It's like the same thing with uh, with uh, Tim Burton's uh, uh, the, bat, the the game the video game they did for Tim Burton's Batman. They they say that the one for NES is the best. Yeah, yeah. And R- Rambo: Last Blood, the video game is very good too. That one's very. Good. It makes you think. Yeah, I also I have the one for uh, the the one that like the app on my tablet, which is a lot of fun. Yeah, the Contra one. It's kind of like Contra. I have one that's kind of like Contra. Oh really? Yeah. It's on my phone actually. It was on my other oh. phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're gonna look at all the video games, pretty much everything that we didn't get to look at. Um. Next up, the, the the big one next up is gonna be the twenty year jump, and that is uh, just talking about Rambo and pop culture for like three months. Yeah, I need to. Yeah, I, want, I definitely want to be part of that. Definitely. Yeah, got a lot of stuff. They they made Rambo reference on uh, Ash versus the Evil Dead. Really? I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, because they go they find a militia, <clears throat> and. Uh, they're like, oh, you guys running around like Rambo on the weekends? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that still shows you that Rambo is still is still a huge impact in pop culture. So I, 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 I don't think I, I, feel, I, do, I feel that Stallone shouldn't uh, bury Rambo just yet. I, and like yeah. I said, I don't think he he's gonna bury it anytime soon, despite this. No, because like I said, I think I think he's just. Uh, Doing all this just 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 to make himself look good for the for the nominations he had for Creed, so the so because the Academy has been has been has been dodging him for years. It's very possible. Yeah. I can so see that. Yeah. But you know what? If he's not, if he's gonna retire Rambo, if, he, if he's gonna keep on playing Rocky, you know what other character he definitely needs to return to? Cobra, most definitely. He could so do a Cobra movie without all the big action. Heck, they could just use a stunt double. You know? Exactly. I would love to see another Cobra. I would love to see another Over the Top. Mm-hmm. That would be great. And if, if people are still hungry for Cobra, like I said, when that, that fan discussion about me, uh, John, and Rainbow Rap, Matt had, it, that, uh, that became the highest viewing video on his channel. And the, and the, the, fan, the Facebook Look at a page I did about about that petition. People are are still signing it like crazy. Mm-hmm. They still they're hungry for another cobra. That video brought us together. Exactly. Yeah. Uh huh. We gotta get John on this show. Absolutely. John's gotta come on this show. I'm gonna. I was supposed to talk to him a couple of months ago, and with work, I started a new job and. With just running around and I was still ca- trying to catch up. I'm still trying to catch up on stuff since May. Like, I still got episodes since May. People have sent in requests. People have been really patient. And, like, I thank them a lot for their patience because I'm still trying to do stuff. Like, next month will probably be just everybody's requests. Because I've got requests since May. Tons and tons and tons and tons of requests. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome, man. Yeah, yeah most definitely. I, I, love that. I love to have him on the show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I might have Adam the Woo come on. Oh, cool. Yeah, he did that whole Rambo, Rambo town, that Bowie, Arizona video. Oh. Uh, have you uh, seen yeah. that? It's like a ghost town. I did see that. Yeah, he was, yeah. he's walking. He's walking like, like he's walking past the scenes yeah when I got back from Disney I was talking to him and he saw some of my Disney photos and he's like man come down and meet me at the like I just walking into the park come down and meet me in the park and I'm like no I just got home <laughs> I'm not there anymore uh, he was at Disney something happened with him and he got kicked out of Disney but they let him back in and I missed my opportunity to meet him by like a day, a day or two. Yeah, he was he was there like a day after I left. Yeah, 
So mm. it would have been cool to do a video with him at Disney. Uh, been, that would have been cool. Yeah, 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 yeah but at least you, you, you can do a video of him in the, in the future, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. I might be working with um, Andy Davis on uh, Bigfoot vs. Zombies project. Oh, Andy Davis, the, the, the director, right? Yeah. He, had, uh, he directed Code of Silence and Above the Law. No, he did uh, like Mud and a uh, film called Two and Aurora, which is still coming out, and Beneath the Frost Line. Uh, he did Stephen King's auto uh, biography for Biography Channel. Um, oh. What else did he do? Uh, <laughs> he did something else too. Um, I can't remember, but he is working on this movie. Um, I might be helping him out with the animation for that movie. So, I'm working on getting to work on some sketches for that. Mm -hmm. But he was on, and actually I'm going to be uploading that tonight with the, yeah, uh... I, I, yeah, I did, I did I saw a little bit of that, of that video. Yeah, I have I like a three minute movie. teaser up I put up. Um, but I'm going to be, I have the other, uh, I have the the 35 full minutes that I'm going to be uploading tonight. As well, I'm going to be uploading the full David Morrell hour tonight. And then I'm uploading this also. It's going to be a long night. <laughs> it's going to be a long night. It's going to be a long road. <laughs> yeah, I got like five other ones I'm going to try to have done by tomorrow. Maybe seven. Seven more. So today will be eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 within a 24 hour span. Yeah, I'm going to try to do. And last time we did Wallace Lee, uh, Wallace Lee sent in his uh, early version of his uh, sequel to Rambo Year One. So we, uh, oh, hold on, it's going crazy again. Take four. There you go. I lost that you there for a second. No problem. I was asking, uh, do you want to talk a little bit about uh, supporting Rambo? Yes. Yes. Oh, hold on. Um, I'm getting the echo again. Wait. Okay. I'm going to call you back in a minute. I'm just going to go to the bathroom. And I'll call you back in like five minutes. All right. Okay? All right. And then it's supporting Rambo away. All right. All right, baby. I'll be right back. All right. Okay, bye.